grow together as Christians, disciples of Jesus Christ, as well as you know, for legal and practical reasons. If you are interested in becoming a member of the Wesleyan Church, there are four things that are necessary to make that happen. First, because Wesleyans are part of that big C church, you have to be a Christian. That means that you've made a confession of faith in Jesus Christ, and you have a confirmation in your heart that you are a new creation through the Holy Spirit, and that you're committed to becoming like Jesus. Second, you've been baptized as a Christian. Baptism is a step of obedience to Jesus, a step across the line where you declare to the whole world that you are a follower of Jesus Christ. Your old self has died. You're born again in new life in Christ. Third, you've been instructed in, expressed an acceptance of, and made a commitment to abide by the articles of religion, the elementary principles, and the authority of the Wesleyan Church in matters of church government. In essence, you understand what it is to be a Wesleyan Christian, and you choose to embrace that. Fourth, a commitment to live out the mission and vision of the Wesleyan Church through a discipling relationship within the local church. There are no lone wolf Wesleyans. Members of the Wesleyan Church work, serve, worship, love, and grow together. Part of being a member of the Wesleyan Church is being part of a local Wesleyan congregation. If all those things are true, the leaders of a local church will recommend you for membership. The members of the Wesleyan Church in that local church conference will vote to accept you. Once that happens, you'll be a full member of the Wesleyan Church and have just as much vote as anyone else and be just as accountable in your discipleship. Each year, members of the Wesleyan Church reaffirm their continued desire for membership and that those four points of membership are still true for them. And that gives us a chance to, to revisit and to explore the core beliefs and commitments and uh, shows a continued value and, and ownership of that Wesleyan family name.